Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss example 8. Find the value of x for each of the following equation. Now read on the question. Square root of 2x minus 1 minus 5 equals to 0. Step number 1. I'm going to rearrange the situation. Two x minus one equals to five. Next, I'm going to eliminate the third by squaring both sides. Simplify the situation. Two x minus one equals to twenty five. Two x will be equals to twenty six, and x will be equals to thirteen. Do remember to check your answer and to find the validity. So first what we have to do is to substitute the value of x equals to 13 into a. So square root 2 multiply with 13 minus 1 minus 5. As we all know, 2 multiply with 13, we will have 26. Minus with 1, we will have square root of 25 minus 5. Square root of 25 will have 5 minus 5. And we will have equals to 0. And it is exactly the same as we mentioned in the questions. So, meaning that x equal to 13 is valid. And they satisfy the equation. Now we're going to discuss example 8b. Step number 1. Rearrange. Square root of 3x plus 1 equals to x minus 1. Next, I'm going to square both sides in order to eliminate the symbol for third. 3x plus 1 equals to x squared minus 2x plus 1. Rearrange. x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 1 minus 1 equals to 0. And we will have x squared minus 5x. Finally, we can factorize x, x minus 5 equals to 0. And we will have x equals to 0 and x equals to 5. Do remember to check the answer. Next, we are going to check the answer or to check the validity of the values by substitute the value into the equation given b. So now we are going to substitute the value x equals to 0. So from here, we can see square root of 1 plus 1, and we will have the answer 2. So on the other side, here they mention that x must be equal to 0. So meaning that we can or we have to ignore x is equal to 0 because it does not satisfy the equation. Next, we have to substitute x equals to 5. And from here, we can see that we have square root of 16 plus 1. And we will have 5. So if we substitute the value, it is equals to 5 as well. So meaning that the value x equals to 5 is valid and it satisfies the equation. So here we are and thanks for watching.